Today, we'll talk about API monitoring with Application Insights in Visual Studio. I have a very simple minimal web API that exposes a customer endpoint. I've introduced an arbitrary delay that mimics the time taken by a downstream dependency. If the delay is more than 750 milliseconds, I fail the request, otherwise it succeeds. Let's go ahead and run this application now. If we hit the endpoint, we should observe that uh, the request should fail roughly one fourth of the time. All right. Let's see how we can add monitoring to this API. So I go to connected services. You'll see that the first option is application insights SDK. We select the option, we click finish. This should add the required NuGet packages and the code to set up monitoring for this API. So if I open the program CS, you will see that it has added the required code. Now let's run this application again. The behavior right now should be very similar to what we had before. So if I send the request, we should again observe that it should fail roughly one fourth of the time. And you will actually see that it has started sending telemetry. So there is this application insights toolbar. So we can click on this. You can also search for the application insights search and you should be able to get to this one. This shows the data from the debug session. Um, we can select the time range. Um, this is currently set to custom. We can say for the last 30 minutes. We can also filter it down to the specific customer endpoint. So you'll see that we um, it, it shows the same number of requests that we sent. In order to send more requests, I have a simple function app here. This has a simple timer trigger that triggers every three seconds, and it just sends a request to the endpoint that we have. So let's go ahead and run this function app. So under debug, I'm going to say start without debugging. And we'll go back to our application insights search. So now that we are sending the request from the function app to the endpoint, we should start seeing more requests that show up here. And it should it should roughly show up every three seconds because that's the time that we mentioned in the function app to send the request along. So here, let me go ahead and update the result. So you will actually see, uh, if you look at the time here, it you can actually see that it is being sent roughly in the three second intervals. Um, let's drill a little bit deeper into the request that shows up here. So I'll pick one of them that has failed. I can click on the request details and it gives me more details about that, that failed request. And you can also search for related telemetry information through these links. Similar information can be found from the request that has passed. And if you look a little more deeper into this data here, you'll actually observe that it um, it aligns with the same behavior that we had written the code. If the time taken by the request because of the delay is higher than the 750 mark that we put, so those requests are failing and the others are succeeding. So I can go ahead and update all the requests and we can actually see that you know the, the behavior is basically depicted here. This feature has been in the product for a while, but I thought it might be a good refresher to show. Um, give it a try and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.